You're involved in the fire service, which are, are a lot of you here, you know that that's uh, how a lot of meals end up, or a lot of events end up, where you eat very quickly or very late at night. But on behalf of the Skip Back Fire Company, we'd like to welcome everyone to the housing this evening for our newest two pieces of apparatus. Squad and Ladder 86. My name is Keith Kirsten. I'm the President and Battalion Chief here in Skip Pack. And as we gather here tonight, I'm reminded that we are just some 20 days away from what will mark the 120th anniversary of the Skip Pack Fire Company. As the Skip Pack Fire Company was organized on August 9th, 1899, the fire company back then purchased the Rayson chemical engine for $500 soon after being organized and constructed an engine house not too far from here on the corner of Skip Pack Blake and Mench Road. Although the cost of our two new pieces of apparatus were a little bit more than $500 a piece, they represent milestones nonetheless for the Skip Pack Fire Company, being the first squad and the first ladder truck that we've had here in Skip Pack. I'd like to take a moment to introduce our line and administrative officers for 2019. So if you can just raise your hand as I call out your name. First of all, Chief Hayden Marriott. Deputy Chief Mike Rissell. Assistant Chief and Vice President, as well as Trustee Ray Ladenberg. Captain Matt Rottenberry. Lieutenant Sean Duza. Fire Police Captain Dennis Lewis, Chief Engineer Jim Seidel, Assistant Engineer Jordan Perla, Treasurer Joe Fennell, Financial Secretary Donna Forsyth, Recording Secretary Sarah McCormick, Trustee Chairman Barry Evans, and Trustees David Duza, Bob Forsyth, and Ron Wilkie. I'd also like to take a moment tonight to recognize some of our life members that are here with us tonight. And again, they represent only a portion of those life members that we have here in Skip Pack. And again, if you could just raise your hand as I call out your name. Roberta Bracken, Bob Forsyth, Jeannie Kelly, John Kelly, Ray Lavenberg, Hayden Marriott, Al Rissell, Mike Rissell, and Ron Wilkie. As a 100% volunteer organization, the time commitments to stay abreast of everything we need to know, to stay at the top of our game, is greater than ever before. The incidents in which we respond to are not the same as they were as little as 20 years ago, and the challenges that we face are always becoming more complex. Considering all this, it's not surprising that at this time, traditions fall by the wayside, becoming victims of not having enough time for them. That's why we're happy to have you all here with us tonight for this housing. One person that has been here for more than 32 years, 11 of them as Chief of the Department, is Chief Hayden Marriott. I'd like to introduce the Chief and have him say a few words. I just want to say thank you to everyone for braving the weather tonight and coming out. Uh, shortly after we moved into the new firehouse 12 years ago, the topic of conversations around the firehouse changed from the new building to what trucks are we going to replace and when. The heavy rescue would be 20 years old in 2015 and the engine would be 20 years old in 2019. The township was rapidly changing and with that our apparatus needed to change as well. We now have multi-story condo buildings, multi-story live work buildings, a new state prison, and plenty of other challenging buildings throughout the township. Areas of the township that we never thought would be developed or have hydrants now have houses and hydrants. In addition, our roadways are more heavily traveled than ever, resulting in numerous accidents and rescues. All these changes, as well as the changing amounts of firefighters available at certain times of the day and night, drove us to try and do more with different apparatus than what we had at the time. 
The apparatus committee was charged with designing these two new vehicles to meet the needs of the fire company, and more importantly, the residents of Skipback and the neighboring communities. While I may be somewhat biased, since I was part of these committees, I think they did an excellent job on both trucks. I would like to personally thank everyone that was part of the apparatus committee. They put in hundreds of hours over dozens of meetings and numerous trips to the Ferrera factory in Louisiana. Some of the meetings were incredibly long, some were more productive than others, but at the end of it all, these two great trucks came out of it. The equipment committee also deserves acknowledgement for working to procure all, procure all the new equipment we put on both trucks and assisting in getting it all mounted. I would also like to thank the dealer, Bob Kaler, for putting up with us over the past couple of years. He made countless changes to the specs as we continue to change our minds, completely redesigned both trucks a couple of times. Our first ladder drawing was actually on a napkin in a restaurant uh, outside the Ferrera factory. He's been great to work with and worked hard to get us everything we wanted in these trucks. He did manage to have some fun with us, showed us around New Orleans during the factory trips, and he even showed us how much fun it can be to get your vehicle booted by the parking authority. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to say thank you to all the residents and business owners at Skip Back to support us so that we can purchase what we need to protect the township. And thank you to the township supervisors for supporting us as well. Thank you, Chief. As the Chief alluded to, we'd like to take an opportunity to thank and introduce to you one of the Township Supervisors that's here with us tonight. We'd like to thank the Township for their support both with the ladder purchase and for everyday positive relationships that we have, focusing on a common purpose and vision. With us tonight is Supervisor Paul Fox, and I'd like to introduce Supervisor Fox to say a few words. First of all, get the volume right, um, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I think it's great to come here. I'll take every opportunity I can to come to this beautiful facility. Uh, how much would we have to donate to get a pole, though? I think the kids want a pole to slide down, don't you? So, there you go. Um, without the pole, it's still a great facility, with great equipment, and most importantly, great people. Uh, you look across the state of Pennsylvania, and there are plenty of fire companies that are struggling to keep membership. And Skip Back here is thriving and even growing. Uh, so, as a resident, as a supervisor, and as a taxpayer, thank you so much for all you do. You deserve a lot of our gratitude. I want to give you a round of applause. And I've never been to a, a housing. Uh, is there some ridiculously large bottle of champagne that we crack on the bumper, or how does that work? Um, I want to say for, uh, from the uh, supervisors, we were thrilled. We're thrilled to have you in our township. You're definitely a crown jewel for us. It's, uh, we're very proud to have you as part of our community. And uh, we were thrilled to be able to help finance part of it. Uh, and uh, especially thrilled that we did it in a way that didn't impact, impact the taxpayers. And uh, we pray you never have to use this equipment. Um, we hope it gets more parade miles than service miles. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Fox. As the Chief alluded to, there were countless people that put time and effort in putting the uh, two trucks in service. I'd like to acknowledge the Apparatus Committee. First of all, the Chairman of the Committee, Deputy Chief Mike Rissell. You guys can just raise your hands. Dave Duza, Joe Fennell, John Kelly, Brian Lavenberg, Hayden Marriott, Matt Rissell, Matt Rottenberry, James Seidel, Ron Wilkie, and Sean Duza. I'd now like to introduce and welcome again Deputy Chief Mike Rissell, the Chairman of the Committee for the Two Trucks, to say a few words. I didn't say anything, but I'm um, uh, Thank you to everybody again for coming out tonight. I know that uh, for our residents that are here, we actually invited a whole lot more people. Unfortunately, there's a tremendous amount of flooding that's going on in the western part of the county, so a lot of our mutual aid companies are west of us now, helping everybody out in, in uh, the Gilbert Soil area and the Upper Hanover area where they're really, really getting hammered by a lot of flooding. Um, so it's, it's been asked 
to acknowledge um, Bob, who, has, who was our salesman. Hayden alluded to it. Um, he doesn't want to talk. I don't know why. You can't normally shut him up. <laughs> but uh, Bob, Bob really was uh, influential in helping us to get the design down in the trucks. When we started the committee, we were almost five years ago now. Um, and I know for some of you, 15 people on a committee sounds like an awful lot, but it really worked out very well to our advantage. Uh, we started with 10 different dealers and we narrowed it down to three. And from those three, then we went out and did a lot more investigation and um, settled with Ferrera. Not settled with Ferrera, but chose Ferrera. Um, and, I, and I think that we are extremely happy with the results of the trucks that we have today. Um, they've been extremely easy and cooperative to work with. Like Hayden said, we changed our minds more times than I can remember. And uh, Ferrera worked with us relentlessly throughout the whole process. Um, this is a showpiece for them. Um, both of them have toured the, toured the area. Uh, the, the ladder truck went to Florida, went out to FDIC. It's been out in Harrisburg. Um, Ferrera has been showcasing it as one of their first type of this design. Um, there was things that came out of this that they hadn't designed before, and there was things that came out of the squad that Ferrer had never completed before. So they've, they've taken a lot of the ideas that uh, we were able to develop, and they've pushed it on to other fire companies past us. So I'm not going to talk the whole time. It was asked how much the trucks are. Um, the squad, which replaced what was the rescue, which is the truck sitting over there. Uh, the squad ran us about $800,000 without the equipment inside. And the ladder truck is gonna come somewhere close to 1.3 million without the equipment inside. So um, they're not cheap. We expect to get 15 to 20 years out of them. I think that we will. I think that they're designed for the purpose of going forward. Um, and if you haven't climbed all over them, please take the opportunity to do that tonight. So, again, my thanks to the fire company, the township, the residents, and especially the committee and Bob, who have put so much hard work into this. Thank you, Chief. I'd now like to uh, welcome up to the podium here, Pastor Nuss. Uh, pastor Nuss is a lifelong resident of Skipack Township, former pastor of the Upper Skipack Mennonite Church, and current pastor of the Perk Yeomanville Mennonite Church. And the pastor will offer up a blessing for the pieces of apparatus and the members responding with them. Thank you, Pastor. Welcome. Thank you for the opportunity to be here this evening. I live on Bench Road for 48 years. And in those 48 years, I've had to have your services two times. Once for a chimney fire, uh, when my son put too much fire, uh, too much wood in the stove. And the other time I dumped some ashes out and some leaves caught fire. And so I was thankful for the service. It was very minor. But, but very, very needed, and I appreciate that very much. Let's, uh, let's hear the word of God first from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the noon moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. And this is especially for our firefighters. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Join me in prayer. Great God who is in heaven, we come to you this evening in the name of Jesus Christ, with grateful hearts for your goodness to humanity. Thank you for your great love for us, and you gave your only Son as a sacrifice to redeem us. You are a God that rescues. You rescued your people from slavery in Egypt, and Jesus told the story of rescuing one sheep that went astray. This evening we give you thanks for the Skipback Fire Company and the many people who have they have rescued and saved from tragedy over these 120 years. We thank you for this community that has supported this company and provided for this new equipment. We thank you for the dedicated men and women of the Skipback Fire Company for their sacrifice of time and energy and resources to serve us all. We thank you for this new equipment that we put into service this evening. And now our God, 
We ask your blessing on this Skip Back Fire Company. May you provide resources of personnel and finances to continue to serve this community. We ask you to bless these brave men and women who are willing to face danger to save those in accidents and preserve buildings from destruction. We pray, O oh God, for their safety and may they always return to their homes and loved ones. We bless these new trucks and all they represent for the good of our community. We ask for mechanical soundness and safety during their times of service. Give skill to the drivers and to the operators for the rescue of people and the preservation of buildings. May they give many years of good service to this community. Again, we acknowledge you are the God who rescues the perishing and saves the dying. Hear and answer this prayer for your glory and for our good. Amen. Amen. All right, so I spoke a little bit ago about traditions, and I've been asked a few times tonight about the, uh, the housings and where that sort of came from. This tradition has its origins in the days of the horse-drawn fire apparatus. When a fire company would return from a run, members would have to disconnect the horses from the rig and back the apparatus into the firehouse because the horses didn't really enjoy going backwards too well. They would then clean everything to ensure that they were ready for the next alarm. So in this spirit, we'd like to ask for some help in pushing in our apparatus. We'd like our Skip Pack Fire Company members, for which we are so grateful, to help push in Ladder 86 and our neighboring departments to help push in Squad 86. So if we could get everyone in position in front of those two rigs, we'll do the ceremonial push-in. <laughs> 